Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm back again with another video, and uh, this time it's on some Timberland boots that I got. I had these for a good little while. I just want to do a review. These here is your classic wheat. I call myself cleaning them up. Uh, these are the ones with Dr. Collar. As y'all know, these are my favorite shoes right here. This is Timberland, the Timberland 6 inch boot. These are hard to beat in the soles right there. Still like new on the sole basically. And that's what it look like from a distance, close up view. And um, as you can see, I call myself cleaning them up a little bit. What I do is like soak them down, then I brush them. Let's see. I like soak them down and brush them. And as y'all know, these are some good shoes. These are my favorite shoes right here. The Timberland 6 inch. Also love the hiking Tims. And uh, I just want to do a review on these. That's what it look like from the front. These are really good shoes. They well worth a hundred bucks that you spend. Highly recommend them. Uh, I've been wearing Timberland for the last 15 years. You know, I've been wearing Timberland ever since I was about 16 years old. You know, so that you can tell, you know, that ought to tell you something. And I've been wearing them a long time. Check them out. And I got a few little moths I'm going to get out of here. I guess I'll keep on brushing them. Got my brush up there. They say you just brush them and like, get the nap and stuff up on them. That will uh, cleans the Timberlands back up. I guess you keep on doing that. But like a brush until they eventually come clean. And uh, that's the only thing about them, you know, this color. They'll get dirty. That's what I like from the top. They don't show dirt as much as the other Tims do. Though, like these color right here. This will show even more dirt, in my opinion. And uh, these Timberlands are priced around $119 or up to $180. Bucks. That's the other, other color type one right there. Uh, they more like the more buttery color. That's the most popular color right here. And this is the wheat color. They're darker. But I highly recommend. I love some Tim's. Matter of fact, I'm about to clean these up next. If I pull them to the light, you can see them a little better. Right there, these are the uh, more of the butter Tim's. Oh, wait, uh, they're classic wheat also. But these are a different color. They're more like an orangey. Orangey brown type wheat. These are the one got a leather collar to the top. And uh, these don't have the collar right here to the top. And uh, matter of fact, here's a better picture of a Tim here. These are the ones I'm going to clean up a little later on. I got about 20 pair of these. As you can see that more to the light where that boot was angled right there. Check them out. And like I said, these are the uh, most popular color ones right here. And uh, yeah, I love me some Timberland. They're my favorite shoe. Highly recommend. You no, know, you can get them on eBay for like 100 to 119. You also probably can get them used up there on eBay. Anywhere from 40 to 60 bucks, 70. But you might well go and get your new pair like I do. Because um, for what they charge for a used Timberland, you almost can get a new pair. They ain't going to be cheap regardless. It's just where the Timberlands is. But that should go. As you see, I'm working on this boot. I can prop it up a little bit so you guys can see it better. Yeah. 
And I bought these new about three years ago. I got these on sale because these don't have a leather collar to the top right here. I got these Timberlands on sale for $99. So, you know, if you get the ones without the collar to the top like these right here, you can get them a little cheaper. Uh, the ones with the collar to the top, usually they cost more. So, you know, they price anywhere from $119 on up to $170, something like that. But if y'all don't mind that collar right here not being there, the leather collar, the beads to the top, you can get these right here much cheaper. And uh, you can find these, like I said, anywhere from 99 bucks on up to 119 something like that, 110 But they're the same boot. Good sole, Timberland logo right there, and it's just like the rest of them. Logo on the bottom up under there, just like the rest of them. And um, just an overall great shoe. Uh, Timberlands are a, a shoe that's so good that you can have for years and years. Uh, they last you a lifetime. If you take care of them, you get that brush where you spray them on and brush them, keep your nap and stuff worked up on them. Uh, you get stain guard and stuff like that to put on them, make them resistant to stains. And, uh, yeah, that lasts you a long time. You know, I had a pair, like I said, I had Tim's. I've got some old Tim's that I had for about 15, 16 years. So, you know, that ought to tell you something about Tim's right there. And, uh, they're just good shoes. They come with good shoe screens in them right here. Um, they snug fit. They fit extra perfect. What it look like from there. I got a couple of places I want to brush out up in here. I'm just kind of working on them as I, you know, day by day until I get them the way I really want them to be, as clean as I would like them. But I highly recommend these shoes. Uh, these are much, much better than sneakers and stuff like that. Sneakers and stuff don't last as long, they ain't made out of too much uh, good material like these. Uh, for where they price sneakers, I don't think no Jordans or none of them whoop that kind of money that they be asking for them because they ain't made out of nothing. They got little thin soles. And I, actually, I don't see how they play basketball in them, in my opinion. You know, somebody step on them a couple times, them sneakers will start talking. <laughs> they ain't going to take the impact of these teams and stuff like that, going to take. Cause I've seen, uh, I got some Jordans and so so thin under them, and they just they charge you a hundred some dollar for some Jordans and stuff like that, but they ain't made out of nothing, you know. Like I said, I also had to play basketball in them. Somebody wait, step on them a couple times, like the minute shoot the sole, they'll start talking in the front. Especially somebody step on the weight, come down, hit the sole a little bit like that. Those tennis shoes ain't made out of nothing. They charge you hundreds of dollars for some Timberlands. I mean, for some uh, Jordan shoes and LeBron shoes. And the shoes ain't made out of nothing. They probably cost about three, four dollars to make them. But yeah, when you want to spend your money right, though, and you also get a, the uh, low top hiking Tims also. Um, they wear much, much more like a sneaker, but they're not as tough and durable as these type boots right here, though. Like I said, you get the stain guard and stuff like that. These will last your lifetime. Take care of them. You can work in them, hunt in them, and do whatever. And you ain't got to worry about them fucking up too much. I'm going to put it like that. <laughs> Yo, know? and um, yeah, 90, like 99 bucks, what I paid for these a couple years ago, they still in really good wearing condition. Like I said, there's a few little spots I want to get out. But overall, the shoe is still solid. The soles are still like brand new. Uh, the screens and stuff are really still good on them. As you can see, I wore them in water and stuff like that a couple times. But, you know, these shoes stand the test of time. It's a well spent $99. Can't beat it. $99 two years ago. And I've been cutting grass in them. I've been in the woods in them and everything and 
I usually use stain guard on them, but I ain't got none now. I just brush them, soap them down with soap and water and brush them. I let them dry up. Then I take my brush and just brush them, try to brush the rest of the remaining stains out. But I'm going to get me some more stain guards so I can keep all my Timberlands clean. Like I said, I'm sitting on about 20, 20 plus Timberlands. And um, yeah, I just love them. If you look back some of my old review, you can see some of the Tims that I review in the past. And um, that's my favorite shoe. I love Timberlands. I like them way better than I like sneakers. It's a well spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars of what they charge you for them. They well worth the money. Like I said, they're going to last a whole lot longer than a sneaker going to last. And um, sneaker charge you all that money for Jordans and LeBrons and KDs and they ain't made out of nothing. Somebody step on them a couple times and start talking. It's just the way they is. You want to spend your money right. That might cost you anywhere from 80 to 150 bucks or uh, uh, more. Go with the Timberlands. That's a logo right there. These are good shoes. They style. They look good with jeans. They look good with shorts. They look good with everything, mainly. Women can wear them, guys. They look good with everything. So if you don't mind spending 90, 100, 150 bucks, go out and grab some Timberland boots because they last your lifetime. Alright, so um, till next time YouTube, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace out YouTube, go get some Timberlands.